identified, but investigators are still looking into it. In East Nashville, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. And if you would like to help the church during this busy Christmas season, we posted their contact information on our website. Just head to News Channel 5. I was going to ask you also, what kind of overall you think could be done in that guy? You can't see from this picture, but the roof of that thing just looks super dangerous. So I'm going to go with probably not a whole lot. There's still one of the life at stake in there. Okay. So, end it with only you, firefighter. And we're going to rake it off. Anybody have any questions? You had mentioned about the tick. How are you going to be able to see that during overhaul? What were you talking about, about being able to rescue using drones and ticks? I guess what they did, they had the thermal imaging cameras attached to the drones and actually dropped them down inside, searching for uh, any sign of life, any kind of warmth. So on the rescue search mode? Yeah. On the tick? Yeah. And I don't know if you noticed that picture. I didn't notice it until a little bit earlier. There, there were bodies outside of that warehouse. They had drug out, and they were... Charge. So, yeah, pretty neat though. I mean, I would have never even thought to do that, but that's why I'm not making a big bank yet, I guess. Anybody else? Who does, uh, in your city, who does salvage and overhaul? The trucks. I mean, the trucks are the ones that are designated to do that, but on a fire scene, you know, everybody, at the end, when the fire's put out, everybody kind of grabs a tool and goes in and participates. Yeah, that's kind of how it is in our city. Yeah. If you suspect arson, how does that affect overhaul? If you suspect arson, you should ideally stop and wait until the fire inspector can come and do an investigation or collect anything that he may need uh, for that investigation. I had a friend whose house burned in my neighborhood, a very close friend of mine, and they stopped it. Well, obviously, there was tons of smoke damage, water damage, whatever, but they probably, maybe a quarter of the house was affected. This was a big house on the lake, and started back up like four hours later, five hours later, on the opposite side of the house. I mean, it's blatant arson. And they even had suspects that they thought were responsible for it, but they still didn't prove anything. So it's super hard to prove. You said you should, if you think it's arson, you should stop and wait on the fire investigator. How would you know the difference between it possibly being arson and possibly being some kind of short line or something. You may not, but it's always better safe than sorry. I mean, anything suspicious, always better safe than sorry. All right. Thank you for coming and watching and participating. Thank you, Jay. Thank you.